Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falca Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Circa Predor Remastered! I'm almost back to 100% now. As you can probably tell, it's gonna be Soba versus Mini here today on Circuit Breakers. Bottom right's gonna be Mini. And in the top left, guess who it's gonna be? It's gonna be Soma! Had a request for a Soma replay from a subscriber recently, and RJB was very kindly. Well, very kind to supply a replay for me of with Soma playing. So, we've got Soma here in a ZVP. ZVT is kind of his speciality. But, I'm going to see how he does here against Mini today. Terry the Overlord moving out. That's right, Terry. You are right to be excited for this game featuring Soma. Being controlled by Soma is such an honor. He's such a great Zerg player, so happy Saturday. Hit that like button if you're excited for this ZVP. I feel like we haven't had one for a bit here. A lot of ZVTs, some PBTs coming up on the channel too, which is great. But ZVP is my personal favorite matchup, even though I think ZVT is, in general, the favorite matchup of people who are subscribers of mine. I don't have any super hard data on that, but I just think it is what it is. So overpooling here is Soma in response. Well, not response, because nobody knows what's happening here. Nobody has scouted anybody else. That's a gateway coming up, so not a forge expand. Gateway indicates aggression and some pressure. So the overpool by Soma is going to be fantastic here. It's going to be perfect for him. So yeah, I mean, it's just blind. It's safe is what it is. So he made a safe choice instead of a risky economic choice. And he's going to be happy about it for sure because you don't make a gateway here and not make a zealot. That's what Mini is up to right now. He's going to pop and ready, set, zealot. Bam. If you're just if you're not gonna make a zealot, just make a forge and expand. It's more economic for you and safer for you against early pools. But if you want to gamble, which many is, that Soma went for a hatch first, then you gotta get that zealot out. And now, see look, is he gonna cancel the zealot? He sees the timing on the hatch and says that wasn't a hatch first. Oh no, that means there's probably lings on the way. So the probe comes up here very bravely to see what's going on and says, ah yes, pool's obviously done, we'll harass a little bit. Do a little bit of trolling, and then the links pop out, and the zealot's like, well, you know what, let's go. Ooh, another zealot on the way here, too. I'm really surprised about this. For Mini, for Mini to be like, you know what, it wasn't a hatch first. Let's go ahead and send some zealots across. Love that scout there with the drone, too. I'm not sure if he saw the zealot or not, but he definitely saw the gateway and said, okay, we need some links here for sure. So, and that overlord sees the <laughs> zealot coming in here, too, so... He is going to make some more Zerglings for sure, because if you only have a couple, the Zealot will win. Especially two Zealots will just win the game outright for the Protoss at that point. So you have more and more Zealots, or Zerglings rather. And then a third base too. Whoa, but I guess expansion is now getting started from Mini. Not that Soma knows that. That's interesting. He's just blindly being like, this isn't dedicated Zealot pressure. This He's just checking to see if more Zealots are flooding in, and they're not. So that's great. So he's good. To, he sees two Zealots here, and I guess there's a zealot there, and I guess there's another zealot here. So he is kind of flooding zealots. <laughs> a little bit here. Worker gun is 17 to 10, because of course it is. Because of course Protoss can simultaneously run their econ and make army units, unlike Zerg that kind of has to choose. But enough lings are out here, and it's just, there's those slippery zealots are. You think you have them surrounded, like right there? How's that not a, that's not a surround either, somehow. But zealots dead. His boy going home, or he's going to meet up with his buddy. Which, again, the Overlord sees this. The Overlord, great vision here on this Overlord, this little Overlord. Is that Terry? No, I think this is Terry. Yeah, now it's time to drone. Unless, you think you can bust this with Lings, which... I don't know, man. Metabolic Boost is a little bit farther away here. I'd be droning, but instead, what's he doing? He's making Overlords because he's supply blocked. Well, that's a problem. Yeah, Soma gets himself supply blocked here. Soma is the wizard with Zerglings. He can make Lings and Mutas look overpowered, which no one else can really do. So the fact that he has this many Lings, there you go. Six drones getting fired up as soon as he is not supply blocked anymore. So he's trying to catch up economically. He's down 10 workers here to Mini, which is ugh, très mal. Very, very bad for our guy, Mini, or Soma here. I think Mini's had a great start. He, you know... He basically forced someone to make a bunch of Zerglings that aren't doing anything for him right now. They're just, these should be drones, these should be drones. 
He did get his third base up though, which Soma is very happy about, and I'm fairly sure Mini has no idea about this at all. This pro might be checking though. Wow, checking this? Dude, if a Zerg player ever takes this space as their third, or this space as their third rather, I, I, I would just be astounded at the gall. So probe dies, no scouting for you. I don't know, five zealots moving out. Maybe they're good scouts. Yeah, I think they're pretty good. So more and more drones. There we go. Up to 25 workers now with Soma. Much more comfortable with that economy. Starts making a few more lings because he's like, okay, five zealots are out. And I've only got about 10 lings here. So that's not going to do it. We need four lings per zealot at a minimum. Unless we have upgrades, which we do not. And which he's starting upgrades and we are not. So yeah, lings are popping out. This is going to be a little bit dicey if those zealots go for that 12 clock, which they don't seem to be. Intriguing. This ling is a scouting ling. He's like, where are they? Where are those zealots? It's going to be a Stargate and a Citadel of a Dune, tech-wise. This is not looking good for Soma. Oh, okay, we're going to engage, really? I don't... Okay, reinforcing lings are coming in, but the zealots are all alive, and the lings are super dying. Okay, one of the zealots died. Um, okay. Wow, that was a terrible engagement. Three, two, three... I mean, a bunch of kills on those zealots. Not, you know, not a million, but alive and they got some link kills and that's all that really matters there right so much engaging there is so weird you didn't have to like if the zealots were super threatening this base yeah engage there do what you can but engaging in the middle of the map like that when you obviously don't have enough links to kill them is just odd anyway hydrolisk den to deal with the corsairs that are incoming because the lair is getting started late on this build because there are so many links let's just go hydrolisk den speed lots on the way so we're going to need some Lurker Aspect to get researched after that layer is finished. And yeah, I do like Mini's position. I just continue to enjoy it a lot. He's got 40 probes. He's looking good. He's got a bunch of zealots. He's got speed for those zealots on the way. These lings are just sacrificial. Dude, seriously? Okay, wow. Um, just donated those lings there. Now he doesn't have vision, and now he lost those lings, which would have been so cool. Ah, Overlord does go down. Corsair takes some hits, though. Does not like having zero shields. But, you know, gonna go back in there, take some more hits from Hydras anyway. Not ideal. Not ideal, even in the tiniest bit. Ooh, very fast Templar Archives off a of two base here, too. So it's gonna be speed lots, and it's gonna be storm. And this is mini. He's at 74 to 45 total supply. This is a dicey time right now for Soma, where he only has Hydras. He is getting started with Lurker Aspect? No, he is not getting Lurker Aspect up. So, Hydras and Sunkins, yes, but he doesn't have any Sunkins. Nor does the production tab indicate that he's making any creep colonies whatsoever. So suddenly, is he timing? This is a timing attack with speed. This is so good. Oh, there's one Sunken. There's one Sunken here at the third. But like, one Sunken and two Hydras against this many Zealots? Boy, Mini sure thinks that's enough. I, ooh, I don't know about backing out there at all. There was one sunken and two hydras. There's three hydras now. <laughs> Dude, come on. You're plus one zealots with speed. That was enough? Man, when I play my games, I'm going to start making one sunken and two hydras with some, like, Sim City, And then those zealot attacks will just run away, I guess. I think that was a mistake for many. I really do. This is a lot harder to crack because there's more hydras. For sure. Man, if there was a sunken here, it'd be so nice. Yeah, I mean... Uh, it does get a nice little flank attack. Man, too many Hydras that you just can't get surrounds on when they're back behind this wall. Dude, Soma. Man, he, he, had, he had the option. He had the option to murder this 12 o'clock. Did not do it. High Templar are out. Storm is researched. Okay. Storm available on that guy and almost on that guy. Ooh, DT out though. Look at this guy. Wap. 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 Can you hear the D Where are the overlords? The overlords don't have speed, do they? They do have speed. So this DT is very dead. If he doesn't run home, he's dead. Oh, look at him run home. Smart, smart, smart stuff there. Huh. So, I mean, this is just Hydras. <laughs> I don't know about this decision at all. From Soma. Dude, there's speed lots and storm. Like, Hydra busts are really good. I'm not saying this is a bad idea from Soma generally, but dude. When there are speed lots with plus one attack and there's a bunch of storm out, you're not going to win that battle. 
The number of times I've seen a Zerg player have enough Hydras to overcome that disadvantage is like three. You need Lurkers. You just need Lurkers. You need Lings to assist here with your Hydras too. Preferably with the Dreedle, but you're pretty far away from that. Uh, Spire's... Oh, okay, I like the Spire idea. Sniping the High Templar with some Mutas. Might work out. There's not a ton of Corsairs out. There's only two. Which doesn't stop them from getting some kills. Uh, by that I mean there's one here. And there's one here. So two total is technically kills. Alright, third base under attack again. This time we brought the Storm, baby. Dude, this is so tight. This is such a tough hold. Okay, flank attack though. Hydras trying to get some snipes off there. Ah, zealots trying to dodge the storms are the Hydras. Dodging the storms a little bit too are the uh, Zealots because they don't like it. And the two suckets pop. Wow. Right in the nick of time there. In addition to the one that already exists. Wow. Soma says, can I kill these? Nope. Man, was that bait? That High Templar might have been bait. Oh, good storm on these drones up here though. Though Did knock Soma down to 41 drones. Oh my gosh. No, wait. Oh, the combined kill count will show up in their Archon. Third base coming in here for Mini. Fourth base is already done at this Minerals Only expansion. Both players are expanding to the Minerals Only expansions. So some Scourge up to deal with the Corsairs. Uh, not actually going Mutalisk to pick off those High Templar as I anticipated. Just going to be Scourge to deal with the handful of Corsairs that are out. Not a bad idea. If it was like 10 Corsairs, I wouldn't even bother with Scourge probably. But since it's only two, I kind of like the idea. Also, I mean, sniping OBS is an option here, except there aren't any lurkers, so does it matter? Trying to hold the bridge. No, 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 no. This DT's got 11 kills, dude. Has he been killing workers too? I don't know. It's 58 to 44 though on the worker count. Mini, again, is just looking good. Has he been maybe a little bit too cautious in this game? And maybe he could have taken advantage of some situations? Sure. But you know what? He's on three bases. The Zerg player is on four bases. The Zerg player is literally on Hydra Attack. And that's it at 12 minutes, which is not good for the Zerg. But he just made nine Mutas. Okay, so maybe we are going to see a bit of a delayed attempt to try to snipe off these High Templar. That said, I'd love to see some Lurkers with all of these Zealots, man. Little splash damage, but I guess the Mutas can clean those up as long as the Dragoons are dead. Just a little bit harder. <laughs> Ooh, free Corsair death, though. That's nice. By that, I mean knocked him down to 6 HP. Basically dead. Scourge did... I, you, I think that's a connect. No, that was the one that was already hurt. Not a connection. False alarm. Yeah, man. One kill on that guy. And... Oh, never mind. Dead now. Mutas trying to pick off those high Templar in the middle of storms and dracoons and everything. Did it work? Kind of. There's only two high Templar left and there's like one storm left. So actually that's enough to make Musapa Mini here just go home and buy some time. But is it enough time? We're at 167 and 103 total supply. And yes, sure. That is fairly normal at the stage of a PVZ. The Hydras are, you know, are one supply. They count for a lot. They're pretty cheap and pretty effective. It's just the storm that deals with them. Plus, this is a lot of Dragoons. Plus, they have plus two attack. The Hydras have got themselves plus one attack, but they're not exactly keeping up. I'm trying to make more Mutas. He's like, if we could snipe these High Templar, we could do this. And I'm not convinced that we can for Soma. Just not sure, you know? So that Corsair's dead. Yeah, beautiful storm up on that high ground there. Many more storms are there. Oh, the wrong thing. Yeah. One more storm left on that guy. Is that the only High Templar in this whole group? He is, but another one's coming up. And two of them. Both of them have storms available. Muta Flock. Mini says he's another Muta Flock. What is going on? This game's nuts, man. This game is crazy good. Where are the Mutas? Ah, it's a lot of dead Hydra. What a 66 to 111 supply. Mutas trying to come up from the south side and get some damage done that way. Overlord's coming in maybe to take some Dragoon hits. Ah, oh, storms are so good. The Mutas are like, can we anti-air this thing? No. Too many plus two Dragoons. And this is just way too much Protoss now. 156 to 89 supply. 
Yeah, this fourth base is toast. It is looking very much like Mini has just played a very, very good game here today. Perhaps not flawless, but very, very good nevertheless. Just the beautiful, perfect composition, and bam, Soma taps out, and Mini is your winner in 15 minutes and exactly one second. GG, hit that like button, man. That was great out of Mini. He had great upgrades. He even had plus one armor at the end of the game there. Beautiful. He's like, it's just Hydras. If there are lurkers, we've got Dragoons. I don't think he made any observers, though, did he? He must have had. He must have an observatory. There's no way he skipped observatory in this game. He's got a robo. Am I blind? Nope, nope. Observatory, observatory. Ah, there it is. Okay, so he probably has... Oh, look at him expanding down here, too. That's hot. Um, Boy, I don't know. Did he just have the ability to make obs and he just never bothered with any because he didn't see a single lurker today? Interesting. Interesting choice there from our guy Soma. But yeah, the early pressure, the early zealot pressure forced a ton of lings out from Soma. He didn't like it at all. It slowed down his economy just a little bit. It slowed down his tech. It forced him into a Hydra path. But then Mini was like, okay, so we're going to make speed lots. We're going to make High Templar. We're going to make some Dragoons in just in case, I guess. There are some lurkers that we didn't see coming, but man, those two Corsairs got a ton of work done too. The Mutas couldn't quite pick off the High Templar as they wanted to. They definitely tried a few times. That said, um, there are no High Templar in this group at this point. So, there's one coming up with enough energy for a storm, but like every other High Templar is dead. It's just they've taken, a, well, I guess they merged, I guess. 16 kill Archon, yeah, okay. These are the guys. These are the High Templar. They merged into Archons. So I don't know. I mean, it's looking at it. There's no High Templar here. There are hardly any Zealots. Hydra's pretty great against Dragoon Archon. It's a bit of a premature GG, maybe, but like this base is probably dead. And I mean, this base is supplying so much income for many at this stage of the game. So uh, yeah, it's a little bit premature here from Soma. But at the end of the day, I think he saw the writing on the wall. He saw it was going to be nigh impossible to come back, decided to just tap out and try again the next time he faces off against Mini here. So, well done. Yeah, Mini took no damage in this game at all. There were no attacks into his natural, his main, his third base, or his fourth base. And if you're just consistently on the back foot, I know I say this a lot recently, but man, if you're on the back foot pretty much most of the game, you're just going to lose. It's extremely difficult to win in that situation. So, GG. GG, well played there to Mini. Let's check out that final score. 108,000 points there from the Protoss 79 for the Zerg. That's going to be a big deal. Hot producing the Protoss, yes. But a kill-death ratio of far more than 2 to 1 here is, that is the big deal. It's a lot of Lings, yes, for sure, but a lot of Hydras in there, too. A lot of Hydras. Not as many Lings as Hydras produced here today. And if you get, yeah, if you're that close as a Zerg player in, you know, a 15, 20-minute game, you get outspent, no, just you do outspend the Protoss by about 1,000, less than 1,000 minerals in a game. They just have too much stuff. They're more cost efficient than you are. Your ability to flood just doesn't happen. You can't overwhelm them at all. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Like, truly, truly fantastic display there of how to play PvZ out of many. Just all the units were perfectly chosen, perfectly made. Thanks again to RJB for the replay. And that's going to be it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Rude War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.